Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2018 Shasta Revere 29 SK. This is a great bunk model and this particular unit is in the chocolate chip interior. Let's start off right over here. Uh, this is something I really like manufacturers are able to do and that is give you a campsite dinette. The reason is because when you're sitting here having a meal, drinking your morning coffee, you want to be able to look out the window to your campsite, not out at your neighbors. So I really do like that this is here. Also it does drop down into a bed if you need some extra sleeping space. You just remove the legs here, the table will sit along the rails, then take the back cushions, put it on top and that will form your bed. You'll also notice underneath there you have an electrical outlet. So if you need to sit here and work on a laptop or tablet, you have a place in which you can plug that in. And then, because with the dinette you get good storage, they also make it easy to get to that storage. Rather than having to lift up the cushion to get to it, you can just drop down these doors here on both sides. And as I mentioned, you do have this huge window for the uh, view as well as letting in natural light. And you have LED lights up top, which you actually have throughout the entire coach, which as, uh, as you know, don't put out near as much heat and use a fraction of the power. Right up top, you can see you have some extra storage there going all the way across. Uh, one of my favorite parts about the Revere is this right here. You can see how much headroom I have. I'm about six foot. You have seven foot ceilings in here. So huge ceiling height, which is great if you're camping for extended periods of time because you don't feel closed in and claustrophobic. Uh, again, LED lights all the way around, the nice tray ceiling, and a big skylight right there in the center to let in even more natural light. If you take a look over here, you see some additional storage there up top. It's actually pretty deep. You can see how far back that goes. And then a little uh, shelf there underneath, as well as a spot right here for your TV. Uh, connected to that is your multimedia center. You can see these little audio video cables right here that would plug into your TV. That multimedia center there controls your speakers outside, the speakers in here. It is a radio CD and DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, you can pop it in right there. Underneath, you can see uh, good storage down there. You know, if you have a huge DVD collection, you can put it down there. Whatever else you want to stick in there, um, it has good space for it. More good storage right over here. Now, uh, if it were me, I would probably put kids clothes in here, but you really can put in whatever you want. Right back here in the corner is the bathroom. If we take a quick look in here, you see right there is the foot flush lever toilet. Uh, and right next to that, you have the tub shower. I like having a tub in a bunk model because if you have smaller kids, you can still give them a bath in here. You also notice you have a shelf there as well as a hand wand and a big skylight up top. Uh, you have the second entrance here to make it nice and easy to come into the bathroom. And then right over here, you see the mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind it. Underneath your electrical outlet, sink top and vanity, and additional storage. Lastly, you'll see right up on the ceiling here, you have an LED light. It is ducted for AC, and you have your vent fan there to quickly help moisture escape. The 29SK is a bunk model, and that's what you see right back here. In the industry, this is what we call a double over double, meaning a double wide bunk on both the top and the bottom. The thing I really like about the bunks in here is the nice radius, one, so no one runs into it and hurts themselves, but two, it gives you almost a full length double. A lot of times, you know, manufacturers will cut them way back. Not the case here, it comes all the way out. So that way, if you wanna have two children per bed, you can easily accomplish that. You'll also notice you have a window on both the top and bottom as well as a light there. And then you have the privacy curtain which you can close off. Then right over here is a nice big slide starting off with our sofa. This is a jackknife sofa. The thing that's cool about this sofa, you know most jackknifes you have to lift this up to be able to access the storage. Not the case here. Take a look at this. You have this nice pull out tray which makes things really easy. You don't have to reach down in there. And this is a great place to put your bedding, pillows, everything else that you want to stick in there. Plus, the sofa is quite comfortable. You also see right down here is an electrical outlet. So again, if you need to plug in a tablet, you have a place to do it. Windows all around, and again, additional storage right up top. Another thing I want to mention, not just do you have big ceilings, but look. Again, I'm six foot and I can fit underneath the slide. So you have nice, tall slide-out heights there. So you move into the kitchen. 
right here is the Dometic fridge freezer combo. Uh, eight cubic foot, so big fridge freezer for a travel trailer. Oftentimes you have to move into a fifth wheel uh, to get the larger refrigerator freezer like this. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Right over to the side here is the microwave. A little bit of storage there next to that. You see you have a hood underneath the light and fan electrical outlet as well as some space right here which makes a great place for a uh, coffee pot there three burner at wood cooktop and you have the oven underneath you see you have a large drawer under there which is great for your camping size pots and pans and then three full extension ball bearing drawers here so you have plenty of room for your silverware and all your other utensils like spatulas if you take a look right up here, this is your main uh, kitchen area. This is your main prep space. You'll see not only do you have good countertop space, especially all this over here, but they also give you the sink top cover so you can utilize this as space as well. Uh, the sink top cover is cutting board quality, so if you want to flip this over, use it as a cutting board, by all means you can do so. And when we take that off, it does reveal the nice, large, uh, undermount double bowl stainless, or not stainless, but undermount double bowl sink. You can see how nice and deep that is. A lot of times manufacturers, um, you know, will put in sinks in here, the double bowls, but they're shallow. Not the case here. It is very usable. Then you also have the high rise pull out faucet. On both sides here on the countertops, you see that you have electrical outlets in case you need to, you know, plug in any electric appliances, blenders, things like that. The countertop themselves here are a seamless countertop. It's upgraded, not the standard T-mold you oftentimes get. So I do like the countertops there as well, and that is why we can undermount the sink. Right up top, you can go all the way across here. See you have good storage, shelf built in both. So perfect for you know all your spices, glasses, things like that. Underneath here, you have this nice big drawer, and you have storage underneath. You can see that right there. Um, and what I do like about underneath the sink, you'll see they built that shelf back a ways. That way up front, you do have enough room for a smaller trash can. The bedroom of the 29SK features a walk-around queen-size bed. When we lift that bed up, you will notice that it's really easy access because you have the two strut supports on either side. You'll also see in there we have a couple items like your hubcaps as well as your comforter. Both sides of the bed have mirrored wardrobe storage. You can see the hanging rod going across there. Uh, so you have a great place to hang your clothes. Additional storage right here up top going all the way across. And again, because you do have this uh, taller ceiling heights, that is pretty good storage up there. Underneath, you will notice you have a nightstand on either side, electrical outlet here as well, and one side even has dual USB ports. So if you have to plug in a CPAP or cell phone, something like that, you have a place to do it. Pull out drawers there on both sides as well. You also have windows on both sides of the room, so you can have cross -ventil uh, ventilation. This side is an emergency exit. And then right up top, you have hookups for your TV. Lastly, you'll see right over here, you have an actual slider door, so you get some additional privacy. It's not just a curtain like you see in a lot of manufacturers. Now that we saw the beautiful inside, let's take a look at the outside. Right up front, here's your propane tank cover. This unit does house two 30-pound propane tanks in here, so plenty of propane to keep you warm in the colder months. It's quite easy to access those tanks too. Just undo these thumb screws, lift up the door, and you can get right down in there. Behind that, you will see rails there for your battery. The rails are plenty long enough that if you want two batteries, you can install them both there. And then right up front here, you can take a look at the diamond plating. You can see how nice and high this comes. That'll help protect your front end from some of the rocks and other debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. On the other side, there's a light in case you're hooking up or disconnecting at night. Then the rest of the front here is a nice smooth aluminum front rather than the ridges. Just gives it a better look, uh, you know, both while you're at the campsite and while going down the road. When you come along to, or come around to the side here, you can take a look at the pass through. You will notice that this has a covered hinge. That way you don't have a bunch of rust coming down the front of your door here. And of course, this does go all the way through. You will also notice that you have uh, the access underneath your bed into this compartment. So you do have three different access points and there's an LED light inside there in case you are getting in there at night. Power awning right here, if you take a look, nice big power awning. Just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. 
One of the other things I like about it is even though the stairs are right here, right underneath right here in this main section of your camp area, notice how you don't have any kind of vents. That's a big deal. That means it's a great camp space. You don't have that hot air blowing on you and you're still underneath the awning. You also see you have two outside speakers. That way if you want to sit out here and listen to some music, you can do that. Those are controlled by that multimedia center inside I showed you, but as I mentioned, it is Bluetooth capable. There are two entrances into the 29SK. This is your main entrance right here with your three steps and your foldable easy grab handle. The secondary entrance is right back there and that one goes straight into the bathroom. I really like when coaches have that as well because whether it's you, a guest, or the kids that need to use the bathroom, you're not traipsing dirt through the entire RV. You can just go in, do your business, and come back out. This was the nice big window I showed you when we were inside right next to the dinette and as I said that gives you a great view right out here to the campsite. Widespread axles on the Revere. That helps uh, equalize your load a little bit better and helps prevent sway. These are also your easy lube axles. The, the, it does have hubcaps that go over there that look nicer. I showed you those, those were underneath the bed. And you have nitrogen filled tires which help hold the pressure for a longer period of time. Right out here you have dual electrical outlets in case you need to plug anything in. Black tank flush right there too. If you're not familiar with the black tank flush, rather than taking a hose and sticking it down your toilet to wash out your black tank, you just hook it up right there. Black tank has sprayers built in and it will wash it out for you. If you take a look right underneath here, you will see this unit does have a propane quick connect. That's pretty great too. So if you're one that likes to cook outside, you want to do some outside grilling, you can set it up right here, plug it into there, and then you're feeding off your 60 pounds of propane rather than having to bring the small separate ones. Take a look up top there, you will see this unit has backup camera prep. So if you do want a backup camera, it's way cheaper to have that installed. And then right down here is an outside shower with both hot and cold water access. Come around to the uh, off-door side with me real quick. A couple things I want to mention. Uh, right there is your detachable 30 amp power cord. It's where it'll plug in at. Extra storage back here. You had that big pass-through with the access from underneath the bed. And then this right here is underneath the bunk inside. So uh, that is some great extra storage right there. I love when they're able to add that. Cable and satellite inlet, city water there, and then the hot water heater right here. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Shasta Revere 29SK. This one had the chocolate chip interior. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.